The latest attack at the State Department's Agency for International Development, USAID, which distributes America's foreign aid. The hackers inserted malware that sent what appeared to be genuine USAID emails to more than 150 recipients, including human rights groups and other organizations that have been critical of Russia's president, Vladimir Putin. In a blog post, Microsoft says the attack came from a threat actor called Nobelium, originating from Russia, the same group behind the huge solar wind attack that targeted the Departments of Homeland Security, Energy, Commerce, Defense, Treasury and State, and thousands of America's businesses. The U.S. government has said Nobelium's hacking is the work of Russia's Foreign Intelligence Service. This time, Microsoft says automated systems blocked most of the malicious emails and marked them as spam. But the Russian attack comes less than three weeks before President Biden is scheduled to meet Putin in Geneva. We need clear rules of nation-state conduct in cyberspace and then clearly stated consequences for violations of those rules. Last month, Biden imposed modest sanctions on Russia for the solar winds attack, but said he was prepared to take further action if the hacking didn't stop. Security experts say this latest attack was intended to gather intelligence on Putin's opponents, but it was still going on within the past few days, suggesting U.S. sanctions haven't made much difference. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.